Okay, question one says write the formula you used to find interest. That would be P equals, not P, I equals P R T I party. Number two, you borrow $3,000 off your credit card with 24% interest for five years. How much interest you pay? 3,000 times, make it a decimal, 0.24 times five. Type that into your calculator. And you get 3,600. For percent increase and decrease, change over original equals percent over 100. Alternately, some people say difference instead of change, and some people will say old instead of original. Either way, it's equals percent over 100. I'll accept either one. Oops. At the beginning of the day, you have 15 pieces of gum, and then give some to your friends, and now you only have nine. So 15 minus 9 is 6. 6 over, you start out with 15, equals x over 100. So we do 6 times 100 divided by 15. And I get a 40% change. Please note on your test, you do have to put that percent symbol or it is wrong. You should also put a dollar sign or it is wrong. Do not forget to label. Biology class canceled due to coronavirus outbreak. All the frogs rejoice. Tomorrow, your feedback is on percents, part two. You need to understand percent increase, decrease, interest, as well as what we did today, which will be percent error and percent markups and markdowns. Find percent error, you take the measured minus the actual over the actual. Measure things like estimates, calculated, and guessed. So, Mr. Wilson estimates that there will be seven people absent today due to illness. There were told me only actually five. So our estimate was seven, actual was five, that's two. So we do two over five equals x over 100. This looks a lot like that change over original one. Two times 100 divided by five, and we get 40. So the measured was um, that's how you do it, and it's going to be a 40%. Do not forget that percent sign. Okay. We're going to go ahead and solve some. The oldest person living in the world just celebrated her birthday. How old do you think the oldest living person in the world is? You're going to guess. Guess the number. I guessed 108. Then I found out she's actually 117. So I'm going to do my guess. 108 minus 117. Um, and then I'm going to divide it by her age, which is 117. So 108 minus 117 divided by 117. 108 minus 117 gives me... 9, and I just do absolute value, so I ignore the negative. So then I do 9, oh, God. 9 over 117 equals x over 100, and that gives me 7.69 percent. You might get different because you might have guessed a different number than 108, and that's okay. How many pieces of packet of candy do you think are in a package of M&Ms? I think M&Ms have about 50 pieces. There are actually 60 pieces. So then I do 50 minus 60 is 10. 10 over 60 equals x over 100. And as I solve that, I get 16.67%. Do not forget the percent sign. The record for the tallest person ever, there are 12 inches in foot, we want in inches. I think he's 10 feet tall, so 10 feet tall would be 10 times 12 inches, 120 inches. Um, well, let's say 122 inches. In reality, he is only 107 inches. So I do 122 minus 107 over 107 
equals x over 100. 122 minus 107 is 15. 15 times 100 divided by 107 gives me x equals 14.02%. How many subscribers does Mr. Beast have? He's one of the top players on YouTube. For those who don't know who Mr. Beast is, I'm going to say 50 million. I said 50 million. Actually, he has 47.8 million. So then I would do 50 minus 47.8 over 47.8 equals x over 100. 50 minus 47.8 is 2.2 .2 times 100 divided by 47.8 gives me 4.6%. I was off by 4.6%. Okay. What percent of the world speaks Chinese? Ooh, I think one seventh of the world is, lives in China. So I'm going to guess that would be about 14%. And you can guess your own. Actually, it's 16%. So I do 16 minus 14 all over, what's my original? 16 equals x oops, over 100, 2 times 100 divided by 16. And I get... 12.5%. That is percent error. Markups and markdowns are just the same way as we did sales tax and discounts. It's the same one. So it's the markup over the whole equals percent over 100, then add it to the cost. Or if it's a markdown, it's markdown over whole equals percent over 100. So an example here would be a store owner paid $18 for an item. He wanted to mark it up 20%. How much would he charge his customers for the item? So my original. was $18 um, and it's going to be equals 20 over and pretend like there's a line there. I'm not going to type it in. 100. So I do 18 times 20 divided by 100 and I get $3.60. So then I would say 18 plus 360 if he wants to earn 20% on the profit, he would do, he would charge $21.60. Okay, that's how you do it. You've got this. Go team, go.